Hi guys, this is Lisa Joya. I'm here at my second appointment um, for my for my shoulder. Um, as you guys know, I have like many obstacles in my life, and um, my shoulder is one of them. I don't feel sorry for myself, but I don't feel like I like poor me, and I don't feel like um, um, I just don't I just don't feel like it's it's too much of a problem. In the very beginning it was, you know. But now I'm in rehab. After five years later, I'm still recovering from it. So, as far as I see it, this is a lifelong condition I'm just going to have to deal with somehow. In some way. And, um, uh, when the weather, when the weather changes, I feel it. Not just in my normal arthritis that I was born with, but also in my shoulder. Um... I'm also preparing my body um, for tournament and for wielding weapons and stuff like that. And I will need to use my shoulders and to be strong for these uh, for these weapons. So, um, if, if I'm still here living in this place. Um, um, so, I'm about to go in very soon. Check in with my therapist for my shoulder. Um, it's actually this shoulder, my left shoulder. Um, even though it's been five years and I have strengthened my shoulder, the therapist did tell me I do have a lot of uh, muscle loss in, in my air, in my whole shoulder. And uh, she's actually praised me for not going under the knife for my, for my, um, my shoulder. Because I could have had uh, shoulder surgery, but, um, you know, I was in adrenaline mode for the first six months after my husband died, and he fell on it on April Fool's Day of 2008, so, um, and I caught him as he was about to fall. I would do it again in a heartbeat, because, you know, when you love somebody, that's what you do. Um, you sacrifice yourself for them. And, um, you know, I'm here waiting in this parking lot, you know, doing this vlog. Um, I'm kind of still, I guess I'm going through a certain phase after this breakup, you know? Ugh, I don't know how to explain it. I feel partially numb and partially angry. You know what I mean? It's a weird sensation to, to feel, it's like your leg, one of your leg is, is uh, awake and fine and the other leg is completely numb and you're trying to wake up one side. Well right now, I'm like, it's my, it's my head, it's like my, it's my head. Like everywhere I go reminds me of this person, like every song on the radio is like, Lordy, I want to enjoy the music, but how can I enjoy the music when it reminds me of this person? How can a certain smell remind, uh, it's like always around, why are these, these, these initials, these numbers that remind me of this person in my face all of a sudden? All of a sudden, everybody on this planet is named this person's real name. Like, why is it so prevalent? Why is it so, like, in my face now? Why is anybody projecting their energy towards me? You know? So, I'm in a funk right now. I'm also in a little bit of pain with my shoulder. I'm also still sick. Um, I passed out in the back, in the backyard from barfing so bad. Um, I, it actually exhausted me so much. I actually passed out in the backyard. You could have swore that I drank, but I didn't. I've been sick for a while now. And, um, it's hard for me to eat right now. Because the stuff that I'm taking for my other health condition... Um, so, you know, I'm kind of going through a lot. I'm also depressed still. I'm still, 
I'm trying to go out and have fun and do stuff and change my life and stuff like that, but I just feel like there's this big, huge pressure on my head like a cloud. It's like a, you ever seen those cartoons where it's like sunshine everywhere, but on a, on a certain a character, it's raining and thunder and lightning on that one person? Well, I'm that one person that's getting the thunder and lightning put on them, so. And plus, I got my new tooth. I hear this one. It's a little long, so I'm going to have to go back to the dentist in a few days and get that filed down. Because it makes it very inconvenient to bite into my favorite stuff. <laughs> like quesadillas and burritos <laughs> and tostadas and muchas cosas de mexicana. <laughs> so, um, so I'm kind of going through a lot. I'm kind of in a funk. So I'm kind of hoping that, you know, this, um, this massage of my shoulder um, will help with my mentality because sometimes the last time my therapist did her thing um I felt like my channels were open I'm not a believer in like chakras and and all that crap but I do know we have pressure points on our body and when they're pressed they get released toxins out that are, you know because our muscles hold those toxins plus they put pressure on the nerves so maybe there's something going on with inside of me that's keeping me depressed besides the whole breakup thing. Usually I bounce back, but well, one person has so much power over me, don't they? And they're not even here. <laughs> uh, and I'm still sick. I still got this cough. Um... And, uh, I feel like too many things are going on at once. I have all these job interviews in a different state. I have all these potential roommates in a different state. I have all these potential changes going on. Just, like, a whole bunch of stress going on. Um, you know, I did go out and have fun at Disneyland. I, I actually took my friend Angel and my son. It was his first time ever going to Disneyland. Um, he's almost 40 years old. I've never been to Disneyland. It was like deflowering, <laughs> de-virginizing him. Um, he tried one of the rides and he couldn't do the other one. So we had to like treat him. My son and I had to treat him like as if he was a, um, like a, like a little kid. We take him on all the little baby rides. And he was so overwhelmed with so much of this stuff that, um, when I upload some of the video and the pictures and stuff, um, you guys will see, like, everybody's tired in their face. <laughs> I exhausted the hell out of everybody. Oh, it was so much fun, though. I mean, I was trying to have fun at Disneyland and being sick and, you know, my shoulder hurting and, you know, and the breakup and, you know. It's hard to have fun when you're still sad, you know. Um, but you have to keep pushing and keep pushing forward. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have to do it. I don't know. Uh, I've got about 15 minutes before I have to go in. And that place is cold as hell inside there. <laughs> Until you get into the massage room. Hopefully she can see me a little early. Um, I have lost some weight. I'll do another vlog on that. Um, I also got me some corsets to kind of train my waist just a little bit, maybe one or two inches, so that my weight loss can be a little more complete, a little bit faster. Um, I won't be cinching too much, maybe like one or two inches, just enough to um, just enough to keep the area um, closed up and warm so that I burn the fat off there a little bit fa faster while I'm losing my weight and exercising and stuff and I don't want to be anything that's out of proportion than what is nor natural looking. I'm not going to be cinching you know to the point where I'm going to be uh, completely like I don't know like Popeye you know olive oil with uh, with a <laughs> you know you know like those women that since so much that they ruin the organs and stuff I'm not gonna be like that it's just enough to um, uh, 
it's just it's just enough to uh, make me have a shape, a natural shape, and I can't really cinch down um, too much anyway because um, my ass is 40 inches, <laughs> and my and my hips are 36, and uh, so we'll see how that goes from there, you know. Um, what else is going on? Um, still deciding if I'm going to stay here in California or not. I have a lot of job offers in different states. It's aggravating, you know, because I have friends and family here. and and uh, But I have a greater opportunity to move to a different state. You know, the price, the cost of living is cheaper there. I get paid just as much out here. Um, I can get ahead. Um, you know, have health, dental, you know, life insurance, all that fun stuff for myself and my son. And when my daughter comes out and visit, I can, you know, take care of her, make sure her, her ass gets into in fucking college. That girl's got to go to college. That girl's got a brain. A beautiful, intelligent, sharp brain on her, and she needs to go to college. You know, it's, it's such a shame such intelligence is going to waste. <sighs> So there's a lot of, you know, videos I'm going to be uploading pretty soon. So it's probably going to be a big, huge regurgitation of videos <laughs> all in one sitting. So, um, and they probably won't even have proper descriptions or proper tags or proper anything on them for a while until I actually sit down and, and put them up. I just want to make sure they're uploaded in time. Um, let me see, what else? My son's doing good. Um... Surprised my son didn't get sick. Um, probably sometime next month, around my birthday, I'm gonna be going to Long Beach again. My friend Angel, the one that came and saw me, um, he's got his birthdays eight days apart. And back in the day, we used to celebrate our birthdays on the 14th of October, because that's like his birthday is the 10th, mine's the 18th. So we did it somewhere in the middle. But um, we kind of already celebrated already a little prematurely because we went to Disneyland and all that stuff. And then um, and then after we went to Disneyland, we were so freaking exhausted that, um, I mean, I had like a, a, a premature birthday dinner. You know, we had lobster. I mean, we had crabs. We had, we had uh, raw oysters. I mean, I've had a lot of stuff that was my first. <laughs> So, um, I'll talk about that a little later. Um, but right now my head's in a funk and I'm just, you know, just don't know how to explain it, you know, just, you know. Plus I got a lot of decisions to make, you know. Um, I want to be loved, you know, and, um. And I want to love somebody. But the one I wanted to be with, you know, as you know, let me go. Because of his own insecurities and the fact that he wasn't in front enough to me to ask me, you know, what what was what. And, being, and he accused me of something I didn't do, so... Really, you know, shaking my head, SMH. Anyways, guys, I gotta go. It's about 10, 10 till. I want to get in, you know, as soon as possible. Get out of this car. This car is nice and warm. It was freezing earlier because I got out of the shower and your body temperature decreases, so... Anyways, I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys for your love and support. I mean, I'm going through so many changes all at once, you know. It's exciting and and, um, and all that. I used to be scared of things like this, but I have no more fear. I'm just, right now I'm just emotionally and mentally numb right now because I feel like I was bitch slapped emotionally 
so hard. It's like when someone gives you a dead leg, like they hit you so hard right in the leg and they give you a dead leg and it's like numb there and everything and all of a sudden it starts to wake up. That's what I feel like what's going on with me right now. I just hope I don't become angry and bitter like I usually get. So, gotta go. Love you guys. Bye.